2011, we've got the Saturday mix on Sunday. We've got a Riley Smith Young Guns for the Dallas Stars. Graded 9. It just almost doesn't make sense to me, Brandon. It's just hard to really kind of fathom that, right? Graded 9 Young Guns for the Nashville Predators. Kevin Fiala. Kevin Fiala. And we got a graded nine synergy green rookie, Lucas Walmark, for the Carolina Hurricanes. Graded nine. Walmark green. I don't know. Does anyone else have similar thoughts ish? Like, in my opinion, like the Vezina stuff, like Tiny Thompson, Half Day, like that must be. Tens upon tens upon tens of thousands of dollars. I just don't know how, when they don't produce a lot of product, how it's possible they can literally put that in products. Canvas for the Oilers of Ryan Nugent Hopkins. Young Guns for the Nashville Predators, Dante Fabro. Portraits of Jack Eichel for the Buffalo Sabres. Someone get that EPL soccer spot. I know, eh? Tobias Bjornfot, Young Guns, LA Kings. Canvas of Andres Athanasiu for the Red Wings. And base. We've got a Grunstrom Glossy for the LA Kings. Makar Glossy for the Avalanche. Gold Glossy. Anna Brandstrom for the Ottawa Senators. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of fun things or funky things in this industry that just make you think sometimes. I'm not gonna lie. I saw another card today as I was browsing because we're selling some stuff for one of our uh, one of our customers. I'll see if I can find it for you guys after. Just to show you my opinion. Because if we've had this conversation literally like probably ten times. If they found a card graded PSA 10, and I cannot for the life of me understand how it possibly got a 10. But yet again, people will pay for the card. As it's a 10. We got a Druin for the Habs. Blue and a Profiles for the Wild of Stall. I swear more and more people do not even care if the card legitimately is a 10 or not. We've got a Larkin for the Red Wings. Blue. Rookie. Blue. Uh, or sorry. Rookie of Vladar for the Boston Bruins. Blue of Lungfist for the Rangers. And our rookie for the Calgary Flames, Dylan Dubé. Dubé. We've got a rookie of Yoki Haru for the Hawks. Monahan, blue for the Flames. Tolvanen, rookie for the Preds. Blue of Duchesne for the Sens. Profiles of Rontanen for the Avalanche. And a rookie to 1199 of Henrik Borgstrom. For the Panthers, Henrik Borgstrom. We've got a blue of Dubois for the Jackets. 
rookie of Darlene for the Buffalo Sabres, and a rookie jersey of Warren Fogel for the Carolina Hurricanes. We've got a Drake DeBrusque for the Boston Bruins Blue. Rookie Authentics of Sam Sonov for the Caps. Yeah, so there, there was my uh, fun research for the day. Just to let you guys know, I, I was literally just doing research. Saw the card. I'm like, how the heck is this thing a 10? It actually, you know what? I don't know why it bothers me personally. I don't know if I should be bothered by it or not. It was PSA, yeah. The th so if I remember correctly, there was absolutely a decent amount of surface scratching that you could easily see. Nine ninety nine for the Habs, Scott Gomez. And almost three of the four corners, I visibly could see white. And yet it got a 10. And yet people paid for it like it's a perfect card. 800 autographs, Simone Dupre. Like, in my opinion, I feel like if that card ever got cross-graded by MNT or Beckett, that would be a 9 at best. And like, that's at best. So I don't know. I guess uh, I guess I'm too picky. We've got for the Habs contenders of Frederick Saint Denis for the Habs. You know what? Honestly, at least I, I trust Beckett more, in my opinion, at least right now. Number 800, Jay Gardner. Eight hundred. Well, according to obviously Beckett and MNT who do subgrades, in order to get a ten, you would need three of the four categories to be a ten. So you'd need the card in some capacity to be a 10, 10, 10, 9, 5, because a 9, 5, 9, 5, 10, 10, according to Beckett and MT, is only a 9, 5. So you would need three of the four categories to be absolutely spotless. And I promise you, when I give you guys a link for this card, you guys will see it. You cannot tell me the surface and the corners are 10s. Shane Sims. Uh, a black label, I believe, is all 10s. Yes. Yeah. I think Beckett has a black label for a 10. MNT has like a, a, sh a shimmer black label for their perfect 10. Number 800, Blake Jeffrey on. Uh, three 10s. For MNT, I believe is a black label and then a perfect one to shimmer. I don't know for Beckett if 310 is a black label. We've got a Kopitar Inc. for the Kings. That's actually a decent one. On J. Kopitar. I don't know. I've just always felt our industry is so like. It's so like, who cares about things? And I, I don't know, it bothers me. I feel like in an industry, we should be a little more picky with certain things. And I feel like, especially the way the industry is going, with how much people are pouring money into the industry, I, if I get a 10 card, I, I want to know that that card is a 10 card. We got a Young Guns, Josh Norris, for the Ottawa Senators. Uh, yeah, whatever fills first goes first. So I think Infinity is next, and then after that, if uh, EPL is filled, EPL will be next. 
Canvas of Cassian for the Oilers. We got a Young Guns for the Rangers of Crap Song. Canvas for the Penguins, Brian Rust. Yeah, I'll see if I can find it for you guys. It was, uh, it's too funny. Zamula for the Philadelphia Flyers. Zamula. Kiki, Young Guns for the Carolina Hurricanes. What's up, Leon? How you doing, sir? Portrait of Getzlaff for the Ducks. Korshkov for the Maple Leafs, Young Guns. Dazzlers for the Anaheim Ducks, Ricard Raquel. Young Guns Canvas, Jason Robertson. Jason Robertson. Portraits Rookies of Jake Evans for the Habs. Canvas for the Calgary Flames, Johnny Goudreau. Game Jersey, Patrick Line. Winnipeg Jets. Happy Sunday to you as well, sir. Portraits for the Panthers of Barkov. You took the prism. Woohoo! Portrait of Bergeron for the Bruins. Well, what you started, you finished, right? And I appreciate you uh, with the idea of that. Joseph Wool for the Maple Leafs, Young Guns. Joseph Wool. Matthews for the Maple Leafs. Rookie Redemption, Pittsburgh Penguins. We've got an Ottawa Senators dual jersey, Brady Kachuk. Dual jersey to 175. We've got a treasured swatches, Brendan Gallagher. Uh, I had some pretty good one. I did superlative already, Leon. And I got a absolute crazy vintage card. 75, Nico Heeshear for the New Jersey Devils. So I like that start I was on. Boston Bruins, rookie redemption. We've got a remnant of Kevin Hayes for the Flyers. What kind of mustache does Kevin Hayes have there? It's legit. I feel like the, that's not appropriate, Mr. Kevin Hayes. Come on, man. Not cool. And a healthy finish. 599 dual rookie jersey 
of Lafreniere. Dual rookie jersey Lafreniere. First time I noticed that on the Kevin Hayes. Unacceptable. We've got a black amber auto for the wild Ryan Suter. Ryan Suter. Those are sick. I love those cards. Absolutely love them. That's a big oof. It's kind of random, not going to lie. We've got a 299 Brent Burns. San Jose. Ottawa Senators, 299 Eric Brandstrom. We've got for the wild number to 49 gold rookie patch auto, Nico Sturm. It was picture time. You mean on the ice he was playing with that and he forgot to get it cut? For the Carolina Hurricanes, 99 ink scripts. Sebastian Aho. Ink scripts for Carolina. Sebastian Aho. For the Montreal Canadiens. Memorable Premiers Patch. Carey Price. One of ten. Carey Price. Dual jersey to 99 of Bokvist Gusev. 99. And Trevor Moore for the Maple Leafs rookie jersey. All right, and then I'm going to do the uh, box giveaway at the end of the video here. All right, good luck. The giveaway for the box whoever lands on top three times. One, two, and three. Reader, 97. Congrats, sir.